welcome to the eighth episode of In the Kitchen with a Single Dad. I'm the single dad. I'm your host, Nate Mercer. And tonight, we've got a really cool, fun, easy, fast pasta dish that we're gonna do. It's a pepperoni chicken pizza pasta that you can cook when you don't have a whole lot of time from your day to day. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this right now. First things first, you need to get some water and a stock pot boiling because the pasta is gonna take the longest to cook. So you wanna get that going. Hey, con man, which pasta do you want to eat tonight? You want to eat bow ties or rotinis? Bam, rotinis it is. All right, so we've already got the water salted. It's boiling. And we'll just go ahead and drop the whole pound in there. And cook it till it's done. We've got the pasta cooking right now, so we need to go ahead and get the chicken rolling. Um, I got some thin chicken breasts um, from the grocery store. They're just uh, already sliced down, so they make it a little easier to handle for anybody that doesn't want to buy the big ones and have to throw it on cutting boards and cook it. Then it's grossed out by chicken. We're just going to season up, salt, cracked black pepper. We're going to just throw a little onion powder and a little granulated garlic or garlic powder, whatever you have. Do that on both sides, and then we're going to throw it into a hot pan and saute it. Alright guys, so we've already seared both sides of the chicken. It's cooked almost all the way there. Um, it's a little under, but that's okay. What we're going to do now is just use any kind of tomato sauce you want. I've got a, a jar of some tomato basil that I picked up. We're just going to go ahead and cover up our chicken breasts. And you can use the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to use the whole thing. That's, that's pretty good right there. All right, so once you do that, it's going to start popping everywhere. You move it off the heat. You want to go ahead and grab some pepperoni and cover it all up, especially all over the chicken breasts. Hence the name pizza pasta, because we're using all the ingredients that you'd find on traditionally on a pizza. What's not awesome about pepperoni and cheese on anything, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and cover it all up. Right after that, we're gonna cover everything in mozzarella and throw it into a preheated 375 degree oven, uncovered. everything ready to go sauce on covered in pepperoni and mozzarella we're gonna go ahead and toss our pan into a 375 degree oven pasta's done we can go ahead and turn that off and now we're gonna need to go ahead and get the garlic bread and the garlic parmesan asparagus going for the garlic bread tonight I picked up just a simple Italian loaf um, every grocery store should carry that or something like it um, so just go ahead and we're gonna slice some not too thick pieces over here. And then we're just gonna spread some uh, whipped butter on it, sprinkle it with a little salt and garlic powder. We're gonna toss it into that 375 degree oven with our uh, pepperoni chicken dish. all prepped we're gonna go ahead and throw it in this oven Boom! garlic bread in the oven the last thing for us to do is go ahead and cook the asparagus um, it's been brought to my attention by one of those smart guys at home behind his computer that the proper way to do asparagus is to snap it that is correct that is the proper way but man I got to get my kids in bed it's a school night I don't have time for all that so I'm just gonna go ahead and about right there I'm gonna cut them all off how about that for snapping it off? Gary, I'm gonna drop the asparagus in. That pan's a little overcrowded, it's all right. Then what we're gonna do, season it up with some sea salt. And a 
a little crack black. And then I'm going to throw in some minced garlic. Just a little bit in there. Give it a good garlic flavor. After I don't throw it all over the place. <laughs> So we're going to let that cook down. We're going to add some fresh lemon juice and some Parmesan cheese and toss it into the oven and just kind of roast it to finish it off. Boom! Got our garlic bread nice and toasty. Ooh, look at this here. Got some caramelization on the top of that cheese. Yes, that's gonna be great. And then we've got our roasted Parmesan garlic asparagus. Everybody's favorite time, making plates of food to eat. We'll go ahead and drop down our rotini right in the middle. All right, and then We'll go ahead, grab one of these chicken breasts out. I have to cut it out. The cheese is baked on pretty nice, which makes it awesome. I love that kind of crispy, baked on cheese texture. All right, we'll throw that right in the middle of our pasta. Go ahead and add more of the sauce and pepperoni to kind of cover up the rest of our pasta that's there and then we're gonna throw down our roasted garlic Parmesan asparagus across the top with a piece of garlic bread All right, and then boom, there you have it. Another dish that looks like it could come from a restaurant, but you know that it didn't. It came from right here in the kitchen with a single dad. And now the best part of the night when you get to sit down with your family and enjoy a meal and a conversation and the fruits of your labor. Um, we'd like to go ahead and thank you guys for tuning in and all the support and watching the show. Uh, Connor, where are you at right now? In the kitchen. And Madison, what can they do for us? Like, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Absolutely. And as always, until next time. See you later. We'll see you later. Bam!